What's a slang word term that drives you insane? This thread makes me feel both old and young at the same time. When someone asks for advice or asks a question on social media and says NGO. Restaurant recommendations in Brooklyn. NGO. Any idiot who uses. Save this protect this x at any all cost. You won the internet. Drives me crazy. People claiming a hack. No, it's a tip. You you speak. Even ironically, it hurts my soul. X200B. Edit I hate all of you. I can't in Twitch every time something slightly unexpected happens. Any person who spells anything as baby talk. Replace letters with a W to sound younger. It's weird, it's creepy, and I'm sick of seeing people saying things like I'm soy or huo like either stop or rip out my eyes. It's kinda of falling off but low-key became much too overused and people were just using it as filler. On Reddit there are certain buzzwords that seem to catch fire and spread through the whole site that I despise. They get used to the point that most people using them have no idea what they actually mean. A current one is gaslighting. Gaslighting isn't just when someone says something that is untrue or something you don't like. It's a specific thing. Tell me you're this thing, without telling me your thing this. Stop already. My wife overuses this and I cringe every time. Started saying yas ironically. So it's a word I use now. But, boy did I use to give my little sister hell for it. Still not quite sure how I got here. Preggers. I dislike today years old, partly because as an Excel user it means 44,937 years old. Apparently I'm the least cool person on the planet. I've never heard of the majority of these words. As a middle school teacher sues and cap no cap drive me bananas. ETA edit to add. Sue suspect suspicious. Cap bullshit you're lying. No cap telling the truth. Having a menti B. I don't know if this counts, but I can't stand people replying this to comments on here. Go ahead I know what you're about to do. I loathe most of the obnoxious words people will use to avoid saying vagina. Coochie. Vajayjay. Girly bits parts. The list could go on and on. I don't mind the cruder stuff, like pussy, cunt, etc. But the 30-year-old women who use elementary school lingo to discuss their vagina just make me insane. Sorry, not sorry. What is the point in saying that? I still get it by hubby and wifey. Oh and, understood the assignment don't even get me started on that one. Updoot. None of them really drive me insane. I've always had an amused old man attitude towards it, even when I was a teenager. When I hear a new slang word I'll just chuckle and go, kids say the darndest things. B.A.E. Everyone saying Riz lately is driving me insane. Prego for pregnant. Makes my skin crawl, actually. Not me. Every time I see this it just irritates me. Cray Cray. My 65-year-old co-worker says it all the time. Taking crazy one word two syllables and replacing it with Cray Cray two words one syllable each word is annoying in and of itself. But hearing it from a grown-ass man just adds to the cringe. I personally can't stand when people are voicing for animals and say human. Drives me fucking insane, I hate that I even had to type it out for this. No cap. Goofy R and using R as a suffix in place of ass. Like if you say hot ass, okay. If you say hot R, I will steal your larynx. Clap back. I've noticed that people in the corporate environment are using ask as a noun in place of request. I know language changes but it just seems unnecessary. The ask from the customer is. I'm not sure what it is about this usage that irritates me, but it makes me grind my teeth, I swear. 
Let's go. Bussin. Goofy R. It's the for me. I heard it once and now I hear it a million times a day. It's giving. That shit is stupid. People calling us Philippines instead of Filipino. Doggo, papa, fur baby. I work in the veterinary field and I once turned down a job because we were required to refer to the pets as fur babies and the humans as pet parents. I have no problem calling someone mom or dad to their dog or cat, if that's what they prefer. It was the required cutesy language that irritated me. In Germany we have a word called digger it's like dude but worse, drives me insane. Slay. Go brrrr. Latinx is so dumb. I could care less drives me absolutely bonkers. I could care less implies you do care at least some. I couldn't care less means you literally don't care at all. But sin sorry. Gucci drives me batty. Guys, I came in here to snicker at some Gen Z slang, not be called out for being a geriatric millennial. Supposedly. Every damn thing these damn whippersnappers are saying. Sorry, not sorry. Ick. Stan we stan. It completely misses the point of the song, it makes people sound like they can't think for themselves, and is overall stupid. It's like a cult mantra. Guess I'm an old man now, and I'm completely fucking fine with that. When memes start with. No one. Adds nothing to the meme. I get that it means unprovoked but sometimes I feel like I'm having a stroke reading no one. Me eating ice cream alone at 3am.